How far would you go to be famous? Would you sell your soul to the devil? Would you star in low-cost internet videos where you stand in front of a green screen and recommend books? <sighs> Welcome to Bookwitty's Reading with Matt Cherry. I'm your host, Matt Cherry, your go-to guy for recommendations on the best and brightest and undiscovered reads. We've all spent countless hours surfing news feeds, celebrity gossip blogs, Helen Mirren fan sites. Okay, well maybe that last one's just me. But you get the point. We are obsessed with famous people and becoming famous. And that can get dangerous. Today, we'll be taking a look at the dangers of stardom in Natasha Stagg's debut novel, Surveys. So, who is Natasha Stagg? She's an award-winning writer, celebrity journalist, and pop culture expert. Plus, she lives in Brooklyn. So that makes her even cooler. Me? I could definitely live in Brooklyn. Once that sweet, sweet YouTube money starts rolling in. Book what he owns this. Not a penny, no matter how many views I get. So, back to Natasha Stagg. What really drew me to her is her introspective take on how internet culture affects us. Surveys introduces us to Colleen, a bored millennial who conducts surveys for a living. Colleen has a blog that she obsessively updates with two goals in mind. To get rich and to be known by an astonishingly vast range of individuals. Which obviously is a lot easier than running a banana stand or whatever it is that regular people do. One day, Colleen meets social media star Jim. And before you can say Kardashian, they have a full-blown IRL love affair. Overnight, Colleen becomes famous and her life is a montage of DJ nights, gallery openings, and parties. Man, everyone is a DJ these days. So, Colleen's life is basically a Brett Easton Ellis novel without all the weird murders, uh, business cards, and with slightly less cocaine. And that's what this book is all about. No, not cocaine. Well, not only cocaine. It's also about how we all curate our lives. Told in the first person perspective, the chapters in the book are episodic glimpses into Colleen's spiral of obsession and ultimately paranoia. She curates her own life for us, only showing us snapshots. That makes her an unreliable narrator. And to me, that's super interesting when you consider that we do the exact same thing on social media, only showing people little vignettes of our lives. I mean, we all do it. We're only gonna show pictures of awesome poke bowls we eat, not the craft dinner that we actually eat four nights a week. I guess that makes us unreliable narrators too. In the end though, survey shows us that we're basically all the same. Unattractive, craft dinner eating, validation seeking, and human. So to sum it all up, I ask you this, dear readers, what's more important? The amount of love you have in your life or the amount of likes? I'll let you draw your own conclusions when you check out the excellent surveys by Natasha Stagg. That's good, right? The amount of love or the amount of likes. See what I did there? Yeah. I, I got it on a fortune cookie I found on the subway. Yeah. Of course I ate it. <laughs> if you want to buy surveys, click here. Let me know what you think of the book by subscribing to the Bookwitty channel and leaving your review in the comment section below. And don't forget, you can always visit bookwitty.com to discover more great reads.